there was a tweet that went out that immediately went viral, caused a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth, and that is North Carolina, Florida State, Clemson, and Virginia are all negotiating to join the SEC. It says ESPN is trying to void their TV deal with the ACC. I don't believe that ESPN is trying to void their TV deal with the ACC. That is an incredibly, incredibly worthy contract for ESPN. You are paying each of those schools in the ACC around $36 million a year. Uh, you And the ACC sees, of course, the SEC and the Big Ten looking at around $100 million per school. ESPN's got these guys locked up through 2036. It's another 14 years. And why would you break that up? You have the brand. Why would you break those up to try and pay those schools more money in the SEC? And then you just lose all 10 of the other schools? And it's not that they're worth a ton of money regardless, but you have them on a bargain right now. Why would you break that up? It just does not make any sense. Uh, on top of that, the uh, the grant of rights, again, like it, this is not happening. This is just not happening. Florida does not want Florida State in the SEC. South Carolina does not want Clemson in the SEC. I've heard rumblings in the past of Tennessee boosters and whatnot, the Tennessee Board of Directors, it's a Board of uh, Regents, whatever, not wanting North Carolina because of the recruiting area. Virginia, I think that's just kind of up in the air, whatever. Now, it, it's no secret. North Carolina and Virginia would obviously bring some more academic accolades to the SEC that maybe they need, maybe the president. And remember, the ones that vote on this, the ones that would bring these guys in, are the presidents. These guys talk. Uh, the ex-North Carolina chancellor, uh, Holden Thorpe, said on 99.9 The Fan that North Carolina could have gone to the SEC if they wanted to back in 2011, 2012, whenever that first round was when Texas A&M came in. He said if they wanted to, they could have come in. And I think that that was the next, because that was talked about quite a bit in certain circles, that the SEC wasn't super interested in Missouri, but Missouri was the fallback option if they couldn't get North Carolina. But they didn't want to take North Carolina and Duke as a package deal. I mean, this all makes sense, right? If, if North Carolina wanted to move to the SEC, they could have. It, it could have been done because that was before the grant of rights. The initial grant of rights for the ACC was done back in 2013. And then it was re-upped again a few years after that, and they extended it all the way out through 2036. So, yeah, it yes, it could have happened. Uh, the, the ACC contract is so advantageous for ESPN. There's no reason why ESPN would be involved in trying to split this up. If you're ESPN, you would try and take a property away from Fox. If this is really about two brands, which I believe everybody assumes it is, why would ESPN shoot itself in the foot and go to a point where they have to pay these guys more? Unless they think that they could end up paying less per school, and I don't think anybody wants that. So, it's a tricky, tricky situation with all of these. Um, and I don't know which way it's going to go, but I will tell you this. Uh, that ain't happening. Like, in North Carolina, Florida State, Clemson, and Virginia, no. I, I don't see that being the next ordeal. But obviously, I mean, we will see. Uh, nobody knows about this stuff right now. Everybody's just throwing darts. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.